Hey guys, this video I am going to be trying the 39L Hit The Lights from Morphe. Are you reds? This is the palette that for uh, influencers have created and collaborated with Morphe. And um, it's $42 or £42. I actually went to the Manchester Morphe event last week and I got this in PR. They included this in the um, stuff that we got from Morphe. So thank you so much. The event was amazing. We went to Crystal Maze and it was incredible. I felt like I was in a jungle run and I was gonna get the Cauldron Monkey. So I really like the packaging, it's really nice, and then, um, to be honest, it's huge. It's the biggest palette that I own, so it is a bit big, to be honest. Um, it doesn't have a mirror. It doesn't have a mirror or anything, and it's got a clear sheet. I hate these clear sheets that have got names on them. It's not in the palette in itself, and basically, how it works is that there's four mini palettes within the big palette in itself and these are like Morphe kind of um, different kind of texture eyeshadow. It's apparently supposed to be smoother than the rest of them but these palettes were made by Bianca Loves Makeup 91 ex Tweely. I actually have met Tweely a few times. She's an amazing Asian makeup artist on Instagram. I'm sure you know who she is. So this one is by Kylid and UA and the very very bright one is Vic M Ram and um, this is the first time that Morphe have actually collaborated with both like American, Northern Ireland and a British YouTuber which is pretty sick. This one is the British one with my Asian sissy. Um, right, to be honest I don't quite know what kind of look I'm gonna go for. <laughs> Let's just like do it, but it's freaking huge man, like I think it's just too big, the palette is just too big, it's not good for travel at all. I'm gonna start off with my P. Louise base. I'm, I'm gonna try to use at least one shade from each of the mini palettes within the palette. Um, I'm gonna use For Real, which is this brownie colour. She's got quite a bit of kickback. I don't mind a bit of kickback, it's fine. Cause I like to do my face anyway after I do my eyes. Um, so thank you to Morphe for actually inviting me to the event last week. I had so much fun. It was one of the best events that I've been to because it was just like such a bit of me. It was like a bit of an adventure and you were in a maze and you were like doing, a, um, you know, li different challenges and stuff like that. I love that sort of thing. Bit of adrenaline. Um, this shadow is pigmented. I'm gonna use my type right here, which is from the Twee collaboration. And that's like a nice medium brown. It's like a good transition color, so hopefully. Yeah, definitely. That's like my good, good blending color. I like to go really high up with my shadows, to be honest. And blend it all the way up to the brow bone. That's the way I do, that's the way I be. That one doesn't have as much kickback, so I think it's because I used a darker shade in the beginning. But, mm, Morphe, this palette, you did bits so far. I don't know yet, because we're still in the midst of doing this look. I like to be quite, to be honest with you guys, like, I am quite messy when it comes to like doing my makeup, like in terms of shadows and everything because I know that in the end like it's all going to come together and look really blended. Um, I don't really know what look I'm going for. Um, I'm going to go with No Regrets from the Kylid collaboration and apply that just on the outer half of my lid before I cut the crease. Ooh, Damn. These shadows are no joke, legit. Like, that is pigmented. So to be fair, I've done quite a lot of like really, really bright makeup looks. Like the past few videos that I've done, like the Mitchell and the Jeffree Star collab um, with Shane and which was the other one? The Alexis Stone. So I'm going to try and do something a little bit probably smokier and like not as many bright colours. I'll try. Let's see how that goes. To be fair, like if you were to look at this palette, 
on its own on the store not knowing like the story behind it it does look a bit mismatched because you've got like a bright palette here like a red palette and then like it's just like a mismatch of like colors but once it's all explained and that's they are divided into four equal sections and then one other section then it makes a lot more sense well my camera cut off because the camera was getting really really hot the heating in this place is too fucking much um so i did carry on <laughs> with one eye so uh forgive me i'm gonna use um extra attitude and work the room what the room is like a rose goldy shade with a little bit of like goldy greeny like sparkle to it. It's kind of like a foiled shadow, so I wanted to use these two shades. And then from the Twee collaboration, I want to use Vibe In, which is like this white gold. It's a little bit got a green tinge to it. It's very, very unique. I like it. I like it. I like it. From the outer, I'm gonna go with the darkest colour first, and then go to the inner corner. That is literally like not even um, wet. That is just on its own. Imagine it wet, like that would be freaking crazy. And then the inner corner vibing. I really wanna test out like the black shade till dawn, just because if Morphe shadows are really good, then they must have a good black eyeshadow. Am I right, kitties? I'm right. Yep. mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a, she's a vibe. This black is a vibe. This black is black. I know we've got like enough blacks in a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but I think, but to be honest, I don't like to jump in between palettes just for a black eyeshadow. Do you know what I mean? I like to have one eyeshadow palette with like the whole look that I can just like create the whole look with, not jump in between the 57 million palettes that we've already got and bought. Do you know what I mean? Time for eyeliner. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Rodeo Glam Lash Skinny Mascara. Right, I'm gonna use my Krusty Dusty TL Mitchell Number no. 2 lashes. Honestly, when I wear these lashes, these are the lashes that I wear that gets the most compliments, like the most um, people notice them all the time. They are quite big, dramatic lashes. They are not for the faint of heart. But I just love Mitchell so much, and these are a bit me. These, they're just a bit me. Do you see that? That lash is just like, sick. Okay, I'm gonna do like my face and then go back onto the eyeshadows. I'm gonna use my foundation stick in Almond from Barry M and I'm just going to color correct my beard. I don't like to use orange all the time just because I feel like you have to take extra time to like blend and sometimes a lot of the time I don't have time for it I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Fro Burn I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Fro Fro I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation I'm in the shade 300 and I'm just gonna tap this in this foundation smells so good. My everyday concealer still remains to be the Revolution Super Size Conceal Undefined. I use C7. I use this like all the time. Um, I'm kind of running out of this one. Thank God I have backups. I don't really use my other concealers, not gonna lie. I've got Tarte Shape Tape, but I feel like that's so heavy. This one just feels so much lighter. It's, it's so much more easy to blend than the Tarte Shape Tape. I just like this concealer a lot more. By the way, you guys, have you guys been noticing on like my channel, I haven't been filling on my brows. I kind of have been leaving them. One time, yeah, a makeup artist had done my makeup. I was makeup modeling here in Manchester. And um, she didn't fill in my eyebrows, and you know what? I loved how it looked. 
I loved how it looked. I thought my look was just so much softer. It just was just nice. It was just nice. Um, so for my bronzer, I'm going to use the Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer. And I'm running out of this stuff because I'm trying to finish up makeup that I've already got. So that's the tea. You know, um, obviously getting PR and everything, there's so many things that I'm just never going to run out of. Um, if I use them just like once every blue moon, I try to like rotate my bronzers around. So I try to now um, use up a product at a time. And then as new products come in and as new PR comes in, like it's fine because I'm still using um, and throwing away like the used makeup that I've got. It means that I know I'm using my makeup. Does that make sense? And I don't mind running out of stuff. It means that I've actually like used it. I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Main Squeeze blush. Oof, this blush I've seen better days. Honestly, the pan looks disgusting. But it's because, like, I use it all the time. <laughs> the mirror looks disgusting. The pan looks disgusting. And what I like to do with my blush is run it, actually, across my nose and out. So this has been how I've been doing my blush for quite a while now. I'd say for the past two months, this is what I've been doing. Two, three months. Um... And I like to apply a little bit here on the chin, a little bit on the forehead as well. I love blusher. Okay, I've got this new brush. It was also from Morphe. I chose this brush. This is the M135. I'm going to use my mini Benefit Hula to redefine the nose just because I look like I've just got a red nose. So I'm just going to contour my nose slightly. To set the face, I'm going to use my mini flower powder from Beauty Bakery. I'm just going to use a little bit just to set under the eyes, around the mouth, on the nose, on the forehead. Ooh, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to use the Hit The Lights palette for my highlighter. Um, let me use this shade, which is called Beam. I'm going to use the shade Beam for my highlight. Ew, look at that. That looks sick. Love that. Get on the nose. And the cupid's bow. I'm going to use hook up on the outer lash line. And then I'm going to use live it up, which is this like coppery, orangey. I don't know what kind of colour this is. It's an orange. Shimmery. Oh, that eyeshadow right there looks peng. I'm not gonna lie, I just went it in my eye. Doesn't feel nice in the eye, just to let you know. Bit of Primark nude eyeliner in the waterline, and I'm gonna add mascara on top. So you can actually like get this palette from like obviously the Morphe website and everything but they've opened up so many stores in England. They've got, um, well from the top of my head, Manchester, obviously. They also sell it in Selfridges in Manchester and Trafford Centre. They sell it in London, Nottingham, Birmingham, Liverpool, Newcastle. Yeah, they sell it in quite a lot of stores which is really good. Come on Morphe. And to be honest, kids live for it. Kids live for the Morphe. They absolutely love Morphe. This is the Pat McGrath Nude Romantique Blitz Trance Lipstick. This was a gift from my friend Fatima. I'll leave her Instagram below. Um, this is amazing. What a beautiful lipstick. So once I've got that on, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath uh, Nude Negligee Lust Lip Gloss, which is super pale, but I like a pale gloss. It's very sheer as well, so it's not going to add that much colour. So this is the final look, you guys. My face is still drying from the, um, 
setting spray, but this was my first impressions trying out the new Morphe 39L Hit The Lights palette. I really like the idea of like the collaboration. Not gonna lie, the price is a little bit steep, but you obviously get like a lot of eyeshadows in there. And these are like such soft like middle shades as well. If I swatch like some of the colours for you, the glitters and the mattes and like the colourful... Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. So like, are you kidding? Like, are you mad? Those shadows are absolutely like, mental. The glitters, I obviously haven't tried them on my eyes so I don't know how that applies on the eyes. But, look at my eyes right now using the shadows that I did use. I even used one of the shadows as a highlighter. The shadows are very buttery, the darker colours does have a little bit more kickback. But other than that, I really, really like this look. I like the eyeshadow palette. Could have used with a mirror, especially with the price. They could have definitely added a mirror in there. But I definitely check out, not even just this, the other Morphe palettes. I'm sure they're like amazing quality as well. If this one's good, the other ones are going to be great as well. And let's be honest, I'm a little bit late to the party in terms of um, trying these palettes out. But... I like it. I really do like it. I've had my window open the whole time on this video. You heard a lot of noise, didn't you? I'm sorry, you guys. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, guys.